The first part of the cash conversion cycle formula is Days Sales Outstanding, DSO. Let's look at that. When you, as a shopper, buy something in a convenience store, you pay for your items immediately. Maybe you use a debit card, credit card, gift card, Apple Pay or coins, but you have paid all the same and the shop has got the money. In accounting terms, it has received cash for the products that you bought. But when businesses buy things from each other, they are very often credit sales. Buy now, pay later. This isn't the same as financing or a loan. It's part of a standard purchasing agreement, a bit like opening a bar tab that you are expected to pay at the end of the night rather than after every single drink. Typically, the payment has to be made at the end of the month or 30 to 60 days after the purchase has been made and without any interest. It's ideal for every business selling something to get paid immediately, but offering customers credit terms is a sweetener to encourage them to buy, assuming that you trust their ability to pay. Days Sales Outstanding, DSO, is a measure of the average time a business is waiting to receive cash from the sales that have been made, including some of which have not yet been paid for, credit sales. The value of sales made but not yet paid for is called accounts receivable. Accounts receivable can only exist when you, as the seller, choose to offer credit sales, allowing customers to buy now and pay later. Days Sales Outstanding also has other names. The Accounts Receivable Period, Collection Period, Average Collection Period, Receivables Conversion Period or Debtor Days. Days Sales Outstanding is the first part of the cash conversion cycle formula. A smaller DSO means getting paid quickly for your products or services. A business not offering any credit sales and getting paid immediately for everything in cash, like a typical convenience store, would have a DSO of zero. To calculate DSO for a certain time period, we take our average accounts receivable over that time period and divide it by our total sales in that same time period and then multiply by the number of days in that time period. An important little detail, for us, total sales includes cash and credit sales. An alternative way to calculate your DSO is to divide our average accounts receivable by our average daily sales, but it's all the same. Let's look at an example. A small car dealership looks at its accounts receivable over the month of April and works out that, on average, it's waiting to be paid $50,000. In April, they also made sales of $25,000. Therefore, the dealership has a day's sales outstanding of $50,000 divided by $25,000 multiplied by 30 days, which is in the month of April, a DSO of 60 days. Note that here we use the average accounts receivable over the month. If we use a snapshot accounts receivable without having taken an average, say from just the final day of the time period in question, we risk getting a very unrepresentative answer. So, Days Sales Outstanding measures the average time that we wait to receive cash from our total sales that we've made, expressed in days.